Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. Now, we are still inside Treasure Box for Canva Creators, and Misty, our very lovely Misty, she has contributed multiple Canva templates in that product inside our Treasure Box, right? So it's really what a treat for us. We've got fall classroom posters, we've got fall doorknob hangers, uh, fall harvest banners, fall harvest bulletin board, and fall harvest calendar. I just want to bring your attention to two of these templates. The first one is the fall classroom posters. Okay, so what you can do, okay, is to actually mix and match different things, different templates that you can get inside our treasure box as with all the other templates that you have, right? So let's say I'm going to duplicate this page and I could be just deleting this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Jess's autumn graphics. Right? So it says, don't stop believing. I love this pun. And then I could just have this one. Ctrl C, no. Ctrl C to copy this. Ctrl V to paste it. And then I could even just change the color on my own, right? Remember, these are color changeable graphics. So there we go. You could change it to green. You could change it to this one fits the fall theme better, right? So that 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 this is it. Okay, I just want to show you that you can actually make use of different items and different products and different templates inside this treasure box to kind of mix and match because they can be used together. All right. So um, this background actually looks nice. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste it right here and putting it backwards so it gives you a bit more depth or different layering on this design okay and of course these are text you could change the color you could um it's really up to you okay just have fun go wild and make that customization now that is one set from misty the other one that i find to be really interesting is the fall harvest calendar now i when I looked at this, what I thought was of was Advent calendar for Christmas. Well, because we are, we're close to fall, we're in the middle of fall, and we're going to get to winter and Christmas very soon, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this file to make a copy. And I want to change it to Christmas theme. So imagine I have an Advent event where every day I reveal to my audience a special gift. Or a special discount okay so let's just go to the elements and look for let's say a winter background okay now here because this is for this is more for marketing this is not like I'm distributing the template I could actually safely use the uh, the pro elements set video as background oh it's too much it's too much it's too busy how about this one? Set image as background. All right. Maybe in this case, I'm going to change the brown to white, have a white backdrop, white background, and then change all so that everything on this page that is brown with that, that square shape can be changed because that brown square is too stark against the wintry background. Okay, and here, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to paste it, pasting it on all the pages and pasting it here but i'm actually going to delete this because advent calendar right just 25 days and deleting this page as well and for this particular situation i'm going to click and drag this because 25th is the highlight okay so this is going to be huge let me see if i just want to delete this square i can ungroup it delete the square delete this this could be better um, well okay ungroup now what I want to do is I probably Ooh, that wasn't what I want okay so I'm just deleting the squares it's entirely up to you okay what whatever that you would prefer now of course if I had to delete the squares it's gonna take a little bit more time let's just undo that I want I want it to be fast okay let's keep the white squares and we could just leave this or i could well let me just slow down my thoughts okay i'm like getting too excited and all over the place of course it's winter i'm gonna change it to a wreath instead so searching for a wreath 
Maybe more, be more specific, a Christmas wreath. Aha! Let's see, which one is nice? Oh, this is simple and elegant. I like this. Delete this. Ooh, can you see that? I love this. Maybe I should get a more wintry looking one to match the wintry background. This one! How about this one? Ah, okay. Alright, I kind of like this. And now this color, maybe I'm going to change it to blue instead. And I want, to, want, want it to echo the blue background. So I'm going to just use this photo colors and change all of the brown to the blue. Nice. And then now all I have to do is delete the reefs and replace it with the Christmas wreath. Okay, Control C or Control D to duplicate. There we go, Control D again. And holding down the Shift key to select all three wreaths at the same time, Control D to duplicate and pasting it right here. Okay, nice. Now, instead of repeating it, uh, I think I'm just gonna delete it. And I'm gonna duplicate this page and just renumber it. I think that's a faster way. Nope. Now, because the number layer is below the wreath, I need to hold down my command key or control key and then to select the layer below and then to change it, I want to change the number. Okay. Ooh, why do I keep double clicking it wrongly? I'm gonna bring it to the bring it to to the front, so it's easier for me to change it. Eight. Okay. And this one, same thing. Holding on a command key and deleting, I find it easier. So just repeat that, nine. Okay, and of course, if you want to make everything aligned, make sure you're selecting, holding down the shift keys to select the elements, go to position and just kind of tidy them up. All right, does it look tidy? No, I think it's just how the font is. I'm gonna delete number four, delete number five, delete number six, and here, duplicate this to repeat it. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so basically this is how you do it. Um, basically, the I mean, Misty's design kind of inspired me to do this. Now, assuming they have already done up all the 25 days, now what can we do, right? You can actually change this to be like a website kind of thing. Um, and assuming every number will hyperlink to something. Okay, so let's let's just go to my website, all right? Okay, so here I'm just copying some random pages from my website. And here, I'm hyperlinking the wreath, okay? Go to the ellipse menu, click on link and control V and done. So I want to make sure that well, people are whenever they click on this area, they will get to the correct hyperlink. So I'm gonna just make sure, right? And I'm gonna hyperlink number the number also. Of course, it goes to the same thing. So whether or not people are clicking on the number or clicking on the wreath, they will go to the same page, okay? And um, let me just, like I said, just choose a random URL from my website and hyperlinking this, okay? Click done and also, I think because the number is below, we should be able to have this working. All right, and then once you're done, hyperlinking whatever that you want to, go to share, go to more, and here you see website. Convert to website. So resize a mobile here, website URL, sub path. I think this is changeable. Is it changeable? Uh, event. Okay, and publish website. This is exciting. Woohoo, view the website. Let's go. 
there we go this becomes a website and people who just click on it see it goes to my web page and here it goes to a different URL and this is actually how you could make use of Misty's uh, fall harvest calendar and just convert it into an advent one right so you can actually reuse and repurpose the same set of camera templates into for different occasions okay so this is just an idea for you um yeah i hope you get inspired by this just to let you know every time as mentioned here if you continue editing this design you have to publish it again okay but it doesn't change the url you just have to make sure that every time you make any any more edits you have to publish it so that the person with your url will see the updated version okay so that's all for this lesson and i look forward to seeing you in the next one